So I just saw this on Reddit from r slash lady the math. What is the password? Asked the lovely lady at my school's library for the Wi-Fi password. She pointed me to this sign right here. Yes, we will have to solve this integral and the dx should be on the outside of the square root because otherwise, I don't think it's possible. And the first few digits, I think usually it's like A or 10. The digits of the answer is the password. And in fact, I did this a while ago. I just wanted to do a new one because the old version I was only doing on paper. Right, so right now, here's the new and input version for this right here. And then maybe later on, I'm also going to post my own one calculus questions at my office door at my school. So you have to figure it out first before you can knock on my door. Something like that. Anyway, though. So let's see. Integral going from negative 2 to 2 of this quantity times square root of 4 minus x squared. dx shall be on the other side. Let's go ahead and distribute this into this part and that part. So we can get integral going from negative 2 to 2. This, which is x cubed times cosine of x over 2 times square root of 4 minus x squared. So that's the first part. And then we will add the second part, this times that, right? But let's close this integral right here first. And because this integral requires a technique. And then the second one requires a different one. So for the second one, I will just multiply this and that. So we add the one half can be put in the front. And then we have the integral going from negative 2 to 2. And then we just have square root of 4 minus x squared dx, like this. This is the lot, right? Because integrations are linear in the sense that linearity of integration is that when you're adding two integrals, if they go from the same number to the same number, you can just put it inside together, right? That's what I mean by that. But anyway, though, how do we figure this out? In fact, super easy. Have a look. Firstly, though, x cube, right, is an odd function. Right? But by the way, the reason I'm talking about odd functions is because the number here is going from negative 2 to positive 2. So that's a big hint. Even and odd function properties. But this is odd. Cosine of whatever inside here, or this is just a normal input, right? If you put negative x inside, the negative doesn't matter. So this part is even. It's an even function. And then this right here, it's also even. Because if you put negative x inside of the x, square that, you get the original. So this right here is also even. Now check this out. When we have an odd function times an even function times an even function, all together, we get an odd function. And you can take a look at the picture right here. So if you see the graph of this right here, you can see that it's symmetrical about the origin. So when we integrate it from negative 2 to 2, the first part will just get 0. So that's very nice. Now for the second part, how do we do it? Let's talk about the graph for square root of 4 minus x squared. This right here, in fact, is just a semicircle. And this is the graph for y equals square root of 4 minus x squared. And the radius is 2. So that means we go from negative 2 to 2. And now we just have to worry about what the area is. Right? Integration, find the area under the curve. The area here is nicely equal to this is a semicircle, so half times pi times the radius, right, which is 2, so 2 squared. Work that out, half times pi times 4, this right here is just 2 pi. And then right here, we add 1 half times this integral here is 2 pi. Right? That's the part that we got right here. 2's cancel, so of course, finally, we just get the answer, pi. Yeah, such a famous number, right? Yeah, I wish them, maybe they can come with some version for e. Mm, I think that might be a possibility. Maybe I will do that myself. But anyway, though, let's see how many digits I can recall. Pi is approximately 3 Three point one four one five nine two six three five and so on. One two three 